And uh, Frida Muth, you and Richa have travelled around the world promoting films. You have done stories that are set in different lands, with different cultures and different time zones. Um, this question is very loosely asked to women all the time, that are there roles written for women? And sometimes it gets really boring to answer that question because it gets annoying constantly mm. being asked that question. Now, obviously an actor doesn't get asked that. And are there roles written for you after you're 50 or 60 or 70? What is the most empowering uh, emotion for you as a woman when you read a script? And, and the second part of the question is that are, I mean, are there there are roles written for women, but what what is it that one thing that you would want to see change in mm. you want to put it like that? So um, earlier I was discussing today how I did not work for two and a half years, and the reason why uh, I did not work for two and a half years, part of it was a forced employment because. I refused to take on any other script where I had to say, save me, or, you know, just be a fucking damsel in distress doing that. Just be really sexy, sexy just, just exotic. Just be sexy or exotic, or they, or they pitch it as, oh, this is going to be a great part, and you read it, and you're on page 37, and then you say something on 38, and then you're gone from the mm. script. I'm like, what was empowering about that? She did not even move right. the needle on the script, you know, so. Um, so, after feeling very frustrated and actually feeling very anxious about ever getting work again, and this is because I had to be very patient. The first script I read was Gorilla. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a TV show that I did in, uh, in, in London, mm -hmm. a six-part miniseries. Um, and it was with John Ridley. And when I read that script, from the time Jazz appears on page one, to I only read the pilot episode, to the end, I just felt an immense amount of respect for the character because I felt like she was not apologetic for making certain decisions in her life and was willing to face the consequences of these decisions that were not very easy decisions. Mm. Now I associate and um, relate to a woman like that. And I reminded myself that this two and a half years of um, being unemployed forced as well on myself, which I forced upon myself, and then eventually became, you know, like, you know, out of sight of that of mine. And they were like, oh, she doesn't want to do film, so maybe we won't sure, send yeah. a script. Um, when I read that, I felt like I should embrace the consequences of my decisions as well. And when the day I do that is a day I will be unapologetic for waiting for the right role to come my way or for creating the right role for myself. And so I think that is a sense of, I want to feel like I respect my characters, no matter what shade they are written, written in, mm -hmm. and hopefully shades of gray and not just you know, one or the like other. It. Yeah, um, I just want to feel that sense of respect because only then you know, even if the character is um, kind of complicated like Rashmi, where you can't tell if she's a friend or a foe, right. um, only then will I be able to go and play her mm. fully. Yeah.